The law of truth was in his mouth. No dishonesty was found on his lips. He walked with me in integrity and peace and turned many away from evil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Louis, King of France, recognizing that the action of grace and the action of faithfulness in our lives and in our work can be manifest even to the highest realms of human authority. And so begging God's mercy upon us as we uh, engage in activities that draw others to holiness, draw others to faithfulness and right conduct, but also today celebrating this memorial of St. Louis, we remember the people of St. Louis who received their, uh, our, their bishop, the bishop that is the archbishop of the archdiocese of St. Louis will be installed, and that is uh, formerly our Bishop of Springfield, uh, Most Reverend Mitchell Rosansky. So let us pray for the people of St. Louis and the priests and the, and the religious of that community, but also uh, for Archbishop Rosansky himself. And let us pray for the man who will be Bishop of our Diocese of Springfield come the time that it is announced. And so, dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who brought St. Louis from the cares of earthly rule to the glory of a heavenly realm, Grant, we pray, through his intercession, that by fulfilling our duties on earth, we may seek out your eternal kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Celebrating this memorial of St. Louis, King of France, one who was gifted with with great power in the human sense, who was gifted with the leadership of a nation, one who was given that authority even by divine right, as understood in the uh, the history of monarchies, especially that of France, the eldest daughter of the church. He exercised that authority, that power, that duty, always in right order, not meaning that he exercised any human weakness. Certainly, we must recognize ourselves as imperfect. We must recognize ourselves, even our leaders, as, um, as those who are not perfect angels or perfect gods. But it is precisely in that recognition, in that humility, that God's very will can be manifest, even according to human authority. And St. Louis stands as an example of that truth, that wherever we find ourselves, in whatever station of life, whether we be um, workers in the fields, whether we be um, caretakers of homes, whether whether we be rulers in the world, that with humility to the power and the truth of Almighty God, then can we uh, perfect the society in which we find ourselves not by our own perfection, but by the very perfection and the perfecting hand and work of Almighty God is the world changed. And so let us pray that we find ourselves in right order. That is, in the right order of our relationship with God and relationship with each other. Teacher, which commandment is the greatest in the law? The Sadducees trying to ensnare the Lord asked, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And so recognizing our relationship and our humility before Almighty God, from whom all good things come, and who is leading us to that holiness of life and holiness of His kingdom, the perfection of his kingdom. In that relationship with God and in our relationship with each other, there is a right balance and a right order. And so let us pray. Let us pray that uh, men and women in authority, in service, in their conduct in the world may exemplify the virtues that St. Lawrence himself, St. Louis lived. And in that way, that they, may they be models for each of us to love God and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Amen. Dear friends, in confidence and trust, we turn to the Lord with our prayers and petitions. Let us pray to the Lord. 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 
strengthen us by our living example of faith that you conform our hearts always according to your will and to your greater glory. And especially as we pray for um, our diocese and our nation, as we pray for our society, let us also pray for uh, the people of St. Louis and continue to remember uh, soon-to-be Archbishop Rosansky in his service of, of St. Louis in Missouri, so that he and all the people that whom he serves may be graced by a nearness of Almighty God in their lives in peace and grace from him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear and answer these prayers, for we raise them in confidence and trust, seeking the intercession of your holy men and women, and always through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine... Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed are you, with humble spirit and contrite heart, I ask for you and for the sacrifice of your sins. I take the peace you make. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the sacrifices we offer to your majesty, O Lord, on this feast day of blessed Louis, be effective for our salvation and pleasing to you in your loving kindness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers assist, sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Louis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. 
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Receive the communion of the Holy Spirit. The body of Christ. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you besides, says the Lord. Possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may bring him for eternity. Let us pray.
nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service which we render on the feast day of Blessed Louis may bring us an increase of your saving grace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of Mary, St. Louis, St. John the Evangelist, all holy men and women, pray for